Ah, uh, yes. Masha and the Bear. The best Russian kids show. But did you know that it has a 1992 version? But it's not even a pilot. It was the creepiest year for Russia. I'll tell you guys what happened. I was driving my Ford Explorer to Target to get some food. But eventually I saw a tape bottom in the road. I immediately stopped my car and picked up the tape. It was in Russian text. So I put it in my car and went to Target to get some food. After I went to Target, I went back home. So basically I put the tape in my VCR and I saw two logos that were very familiar. After when the logo stopped, the show was about to come on. There were actually differences in the characters. There was a door opening in the scene inside of a house. This shot we could see a bear holding something, some type of bag. It's an early version of the bear from the final version. Then he drops the bag. The bag started to hop. Some kid was hopping, or child. The bear started to open the bag. Then we can see the kid, but wearing a red fur paca, gray pants, also black shoes. The animation kind of looks like Bob the Builder, Pengu, and Gumby, or basically Thomas and Friends and Robot Chicken. After we can see the kid in the bag, <sighs> the kid was the early version of Masha from the final version, just like the bear, but with no hair. Masha started to crying, and the bears tried to calm her down. However, the bear started to give her a drink, but she don't want it. However, the screen cuts to static when Masha is crying. When the screen stops to static, the two characters disappeared. I hear some lightning outside in the background. There's blood in the ground. Then the screen cuts to static. And finally, we can see the characters. But the bear isn't here. And Masha was alone. Masha was so scared that the bear isn't here. Masha eventually walked outside and started to explore. She was trying to look for the bear, and I actually heard some creepy noises in the background. I hear some man screaming from the background audio. Masha keeps walking to explore the whole forest. Eventually, she saw a dead bunny hanging in a tree. The bunny looks familiar. I realize it's an early version of here from the final version, yeah. Masha keeps walking. She is also sad. Eventually, she stared at the camera, looking sad. Something was in the background behind of Masha. Eventually, a black humanoid figure with realistic eyes was trying to hunt Masha down. Shit. The screen is in black and white. Then the screen fades to black. Then we can hear Masha screaming and running footsteps. That sounds like her voice actor is screaming in pain or getting a serious kidnap. When the screen fades in, we can see the bear sitting in the sofa with his CRT. His face was depressed also drinking wines. Okay, maybe this ruins my childhood a lot. I feel bad for the bear. I wonder what happened to him. Did he lose his friends? Or family? We have no idea what happened to this bear. Then suddenly the bear gets off the sofa. He went outside. Eventually he started driving his pickup truck. His pickup truck was a 1992 Dodge Ram 250, and I thought this tape was made in Russia, but it, but it's not. It was actually made in the U.S. And then the screen fades to black while the bear was driving. After the screen stops to black, Masha is still in the forest around midnight. The forest was too dark for her. She was extremely scared. 
There were no people in the forest. In Finchery, she saw a road. There were no cars passing by. She keeps exploring. And eventually saw a bandit house middle of the forest. But Masha's too afraid to do it. She thinks there will be some type of creature here. She has started to cry. Eventually, a ghost passed behind her. There were some ghost noises which just sound a little pinch. It wasn't just a kid-friendly ghost. It was a realistic ghost. The ghosts also have black hair, which is terrifying. Eventually, you hear some noises in the background. And that sound like a fox screaming. Eventually, that did not sound like a fox screaming at all. Eventually, a red light appeared. Eventually, Masha did not notice the red glowing light. Eventually, a thunderstorm appeared with heavy rain. But eventually, the rain was replaced with blood. Masha was in a rush to hurry for looking for the bear. The screen cuts to static for one minute. I also hear some demonic voices. When the screen stops to static, something isn't right. Wait a second. Is that a fucking gun in the background? No, no, no. I must be crazy. But what the fuck did I just saw? Why was this in a kid show? What is going on? I feel like someone's behind me right now. I feel like I'm not in the right place anymore. And then we can finally see Masha, but she's still exploring. Behind her, it was a white humanoid figure with a realistic eyes. Also, it was crying gray blood in his eye socket. God, why am I telling this story? Masha started to cry again. She tried to run really fast. Then the white humanoid figure is chasing her and then grabbing her. Then the white humanoid figure had took a bite of her head. Realistic blood was everywhere in Masha's body. And then it cuts to the bear. Then the bear went to Little Caesars around 5 a.m. The bear went to the drive-thru since Little Caesars has a drive-thru. After the bear went to Little Caesar to get his pizza, he went back home and started to watch TV. I realized something. How did the bear get a different house? Did he got teleported or something? Or maybe is that some type of magic or something? When the bear was watching his TV and finished all his pizza, he became suicide. Then he grabbed his rope and started to hang himself. And the tape ended. And did you know that Masha 1992 was modernized and also got the same model as 2009 Masha? Well, you'd be right.